This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and this is a very special edition of Walk the Talk from Kabul, Afghanistan. Now, if the war against terror has become the defining phrase of our lives, then my guest this week is its most eloquent soldier. Not just a soldier, but a general, a commander. Also, its most eloquent spokesman, President Hamid Karzai of Afghanistan. Very sp special privilege to have you on Walk the Talk. Thank you for coming. The privilege is ours. Thank you Welcome. very much. I, I, I know you have a very busy day and very busy week and very busy, very busy life. Well, it's, uh, it does, it's not bad to be busy. It's good to be busy. But what matters is to be busy for a good cause. And the cause that we have is to bring peace to this country, to this region, and by extension to the rest of the world. I hope we succeed in it. You know, uh, uh, you will not remember because you met so many journalists in your life. Mm -hmm. But we first met in the summer of 1989 when I came to Peshawar in my reporting years, which unfortunately mm -hmm. are behind me. Summer of 1989. This summer is the year the Soviets were withdrawing that's, from Afghanistan. That's, that's uh -huh. right. Uh, okay. You were working with uh, Mujadidi at that time. Yes, yes, yes. And we yes. talked about Shimla and Chandigarh. And yes. I Great place, both places. Both places Great, yes. yes. Simla is my place of study, right? And where my 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 world view shaped. So it has a particular. That's place. very interesting. World view shaped how? Tell us more about well, it. Well, it's uh, it had all the characteristics of an of of a nice place. It had the the. Uh, can we sit and talk? Sure. Please. It had the all the characteristics of a of a good place. I was there from eighteen. To 24. Right. That's where you're molded. You 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 learn, and you frame your thoughts. You're affected by life's experiences. Mine was a simple one. A student from a country that was invaded by the Soviet Union, in a country that had tremendous morality of Gandhian non-violence of um, coexistence and I had to relate to both the environment in which I lived in Simla and the suffering of my people in Afghanistan as the Soviets had invaded. What made you join the then jihad resistance? Hmm. Tell us some, well, some of your experiences. I would like to, to give you my first experience. Right. I was walking, it was about um, 7.30, quarter to 8 in the morning. I was walking towards my college, uh, which was the Sanatan Dahram Bhargava College. In, in Simla. Simla. SDB. Right. And as I'm walking towards the college, I'm perhaps near, um, uh, uh, just passing by, if you know Simla, the um, uh, uh, regal, uh, right. Cinema hall and going towards, I believe that was place. The place was called Lakar Bazaar or something. Right. They still call Lakar Bazaar. It's still <laughs> called Lakar Bazaar. Fine, Lakar Bazaar. Uh, some things don't change. Scandal Point, Lakar Bazaar. Sc Scandal Point yeah. would never change. Right. Uh, it would never be forgotten. But Lakar Bazaar. Right. I was I was walking Lakar Bazaar towards my college, and I two uh, girls uh, my age were, were passing by, and they were talking about the invasion of Afghanistan by the Soviets. That's where I heard it. Right from them that Afghanistan is invaded. Now, for, for at that time for a boy my age, maybe then I was um, 20, uh, or should I say for a young man my age at that time, uh, with the kind of history Afghanistan had of immense pride, a country that was never occupied, a country that, uh, that uh, right. prided itself on its history. Suddenly to, to, to find out that my country was invaded by the Soviets and that, did not, that, and that I did not have any more a country that was independent, that was uh, of our own, it gave me a tremendous feeling of, uh, of anger and yet of uh, loss of an identity that I, that I held so strongly. And Pakistan was a valued ally then? Pakistan, 
was a, was a, was a very valued ally. Pakistan received millions of Afghan refugees. Uh, the Pakistani people, especially um, in Baluchistan and in the frontier province, uh, gave us their homes and their lands and their, uh, and their shared everything with us. And also in the rest of Pakistan and Punjab and Sindh, for which the Afghan people are very, very grateful. So what's changed now vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan? And what changed with Pakistan vis-a-vis uh, -vis Pakistan in the Taliban phase? What went wrong? Well, the Taliban, uh, the Taliban came to Afghanistan because they were, the Afghan people were sick and tired of these various uh, commanders with guns and groups of fighters fighting each other and bringing misery to the lives of the Afghan people, bringing destruction to Afghanistan, destroying the state right. uh, as it was. So the Taliban were, were welcomed by the Afghan people with the hope that they would end that fighting, with the hope that they would uh, bring salvation from internal fighting but, uh, and would, would, uh, would take Afghanistan to peace and stability. Soon, I was one of the people that supported the Taliban right. very, very strongly, very, very strongly. I knew them from the years of our jihad against right. the Soviets. So, Soon it turned out that, no, they were not only not helping Afghanistan um, uh, to stability and ending brothers killing brothers, but that they were rather increasing that, that they were causing a lot of uh, uh, destruction and the killing of Afghans, that they were not independent at all, that they were turning into absolute stooges for somebody else. And that's how and I began And somebody else was Pakistan? It was a lot of elements. The Al-Qaeda, the, the, the people, all these violent uh, extremists from all over the world. But also ISI in Pakistan, we can't... Well, well that was a responsibility for them, right. of course. Of course right. it was there, and, and, and that's why we, we rose against them. Right. So that period is indeed a period in which um, uh, Afghanistan suffered. Uh, we are glad uh, they have been thrown out of Afghanistan. We are glad Al-Qaeda is thrown out of Afghanistan. The question with Pakistan that we have today as a brother of ours, as a country that we are very, very grateful to for the years of, of, of uh, the jihad and having us as refugees, they still do. The good jihad. The good jihad. Well, the jihad is good all the right. time. What is right. now, that's not jihad, right. that's, that's killing. Right. So that, that's different. We, we have to differentiate clear and we, we have to talk about that. Right. And are you telling General Musharraf this? We have spoken a lot of times about this, yes. And uh, what response do you get? Well, uh, there, there, there is cooperation in certain areas. We need to have cooperation in more areas right. and more intensely. And this is something uh, we have recently engaged in uh, Washington right. at the dinner of uh, President Bush. Uh, we hope something will come out of this. We, we are planning a jirga between the two countries. Um, a a jirga between tribal elders from, from a jirga, both countries? A jirga between Afghanistan and Pakistan. From right. our side, it will be the jirga of the Afghan, of the Afghan people. And it's something that... Uh, and when is that likely to happen? We hope to have it done in two or three months' time. And is that idea, is, is that an idea that came up uh, during the dinner in Washington? This is what I proposed during the dinner in Washington, and President Musharraf was kind enough to accept it, and we should proceed. Because I was seeing a PBS documentary, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. which talked about you taking a... Mm -hmm. No, no, continue, continue. Yes. You, you, yes. you taking a, some documentation showing how many of his people are, are people were involved and how subversion was being carried out from Pakistani side, intelligence information. And he said to PBS that in that meeting he shouted at your intelligence chief and he said, what kind of intelligence chief are you that you have you to wait, wait for a presidential visit to turn over this information? Implication being that Afghan government is not telling them this stuff on a routine basis as it should. Well, he is the president uh, and our intelligence chief was the intelligence chief, much younger than President Musharraf. So President Musharraf... Uh, um, you know, can shout at our, pres uh, at our intelligence chief, especially a very young and smart guy. And it's uh, something that uh, we enjoyed, actually. <laughs> it, 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 showed, it showed some sort of sincerity. Right. So that's not bad. But since then, have you seen any difference from the Pakistani side? We hope that... Um, uh, the uh, the lull or the reduction 
in the bomb blasts and right. in the um, suicide bombs that we have had recently will 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 continue uh, we hope it will continue in afghanistan forever we hope that there will be an absolute end to violence in afghanistan and in pakistan and that's the objective that we will continue but to some see. of the recent developments and incidents are you worried about them a deal if it's uh, giving you the results for the purpose uh, which you signed, which you entered to, is good enough. Right. But if that is not achieved, then it's not good. Right. Especially and your, your, in this case... Your experience so far is that purpose is not being achieved? At least not on, on our side. On, not on your side. Not on our side. Let's give it more chance. And is that the feeling of the coalition yes. forces as well? You have to ask the coalition. But I'm sure you exchanged uh, notes. Th that is their feeling as well. They're worried. But you have to ask them for on their side for their details. Right.